Welcome back to The Breakfast. And uh, just before we, of course, say goodbye this morning, we still have a little bit to talk about. And this is comment with regards the central bank governor, Governor MFLA, yesterday in a meeting with the uh, money, uh, the MPC, actually, uh, money, uh, Monetary Policy Committee yesterday, and their decisions to leave the lending rate at 11.5%. It was an extensive meeting, and some of those decisions were taken. We've invited this morning Mr. Mukhtar Mohammed, an economist, to quickly share with us his thoughts on this and how this affects our economy in, in, in the bigger picture and, um, it, of course, uh, hopefully um, getting out of this recession. Good morning, Mr. Mohammed. Good morning. I can't hear you clearly. I can hear, I, I, I hear faintly, but I, I think you're talking about um, what are the impacts of oh, well, this well, monetary well, policy well, we, we just introduced you. Uh, we just introduced you, but you can go ahead and, and uh, start with that. The possible impact that this would have on the uh, um, Nigeria's economy. I'm still struggling to hear you. <laughs> oh, we, we will have to see if we can fix that. Can you hear us clearly at all in any way? Yeah, I can hear you clearly, but okay. there's no volume. Okay. All right, we would get that sorted, you know. But I, I, if you can hear me, I want you to speak on the um, decision to leave the lending rate at eleven point five percent. Do you agree that that was a great decision by the CBN, and what effect do you think that would have? Yes, I think um, if if they, 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 they took the decision during their their last um, MPC meeting of the year of, of, of last year, the end of the year, and. Um, if you look at that by and by the data that we have gotten from the National Bureau of Statistics, then you think that um, there's no need to change it because it, 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 it seems to be working for them, especially in the area of the lending rates, in the area of intervention into critical sector of the economy. And if they say uh, and banks and lending to the private sector has gone as high as 25, 25 trillion. So if you have such, um, you, you, you don't think there was any need for you to begin to readjust your policies. And I, I think it was a good decision for them to con to leave the lending rate where it was because we're not expecting liquidity ratio the same thing because you are grappling with inflation. You don't want to increase liquidity ratio. Uh, you don't want to decrease the liquidity ratio, therefore align a lot of uh, uh, funds into the economy. That will also add to the inflation challenges that they were already battling with. So I think what they've done is to look at what the policy they have taken in the, towards the end of the year last year and see the impact it will make at least from now to the first quarter of the year. I don't expect um, there will be any drastic change in the CBN lending rate, liquidity ratio, and uh, others. So I, I don't think there will be anything. We want to see those impact, especially as it's regard uh, inflation, as it regard the uh, FX rate between the exchange rate between the Naira and the dollar, and also its impact on the uh, ordinary people on the street. That also, they will want to study it because you can't solve economic issues within a month and you're trying to, to change the variables at this time. You need to let it run at least for a quarter. So for me, I think we'll continue to see this play out for, for the next term, uh, quarter before we may see a change in second, towards the second quarter. Mm -hmm. For many Nigerians who may not understand you know, the economics of this, I would like you to take some time to explain what this would mean for them. The CBN has retained, you know, the MPC lending rate at 11.5 percent. For an average ordinary Nigerian, how, what does this mean, and how would it impact them? Okay, uh, what it means when you look at the um, lending rate, lending rate is the amount is is the rate that the banks will have to borrow money from the CBN. So if you leave lending rate at 11.5. That means for the bank to borrow money from the CBN, they have to borrow it at 11.5. And so if the bank is borrowing money from the CBN at 11.5, that means the bank will also want to make profit. So sometimes you see the banks lend, uh, lending those money out for about 17 point something or 15 point something, depending on, on, on what will be the average rate that the CBN will tell them to, to, to do, to, to put those rates. So that is the lending rate. So what it means is that you cannot lend, you, you, you cannot do any lending below 11.5 so and so and, and so below 11.5 so any lending rate will start from 11.5 and like i said that is the rate whereby the cbn lend to the bank so the bank if they, the bank collect from the cbn they want to lend to the S end user they also want to make profit from so they could be lending to 16 to 17 percent and sometimes as high as 20 percent depending on the on, on, on the duration of, of, of those um, lending so that one liquidity ratio is 
the amount of liquidity that the banks are allowed to keep in their threshold. So what it means is that you make sure that if it goes above that, the, number, the money in circulation will be higher. So what the CBN have done is to reduce the money in circulation by about 30 something, uh, um, um, by that percentage that they, 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 they said, the 25% that they said the bank can, can, can keep. So that's basically the, the normal terminology. So what liquidity ratio does is to reduce the inflation pressure because the higher the currency in circulation, the more money in circulation, the more money in demand, of, uh, demand and supply comes to play. And so that may hike in, 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 in inflation. So that's basically what the CBN is trying to do. Okay, let's also get you to speak on uh, the factors, if there's anything at all, because there's obviously benefits to having a, um, a lower lending rate, um, benefits to the economy, benefits to small and medium enterprises and to the banks themselves. So what possible factors may arise that may push the CBN to reduce the lending rate even further? Look, the benefit is um, ordinarily in a... In a, in a, in a, in a in a research economy, you try to reduce lending because you want to, to spend your way out of, um, out of recession. But when you are struggling with inflation, then it becomes a major challenge. So you try to reduce inflation too because during recession, inflation becomes a monster. So you need to deal with that. So ordinarily, lending rate is supposed to come, come down because you want to get more money into the system so that people, con especially consumers, can have money to begin to patronize uh, um, um, companies that are listed. So in turn, job are not lost. You don't have so much loss of job, then it will affect the bottom line of the company. But when you are governing with inflation and then you are governing with exchange rate volatility, it's always difficult. So you, you either you leave those those rates as as they are, or you try to work on, uh, I mean, try to do some other uh, things that might end up causing inflation. So for me, I think what it means is that Lending is still high. For FX, uh, is still is still also um, still high also. So it basically, it, it, it's 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 the, the, that's all the CBI can do for now because we are going with inflation almost eighteen percent. So and then you are also looking at lending exchange rate volatility of official rate at three ninety two, and then the 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 the, 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 the parallel market at four four seventy. So it's a major challenge. So. Um, they couldn't do anything about that. And what that means is that we are still where we are. So the cost of goods and services will still be high. And in terms of investment in fixed income streets will still be low because government is trying to spend their way out of recession and trying to make sure that there's not so much money in circulation. And the other way is for the private sector to invest their way out of recession instead of keeping money in the bank so the government is looking for investors to come in so they are not making fixed income uh, uh, non-risky investments um, uh, um, return high so that most will not create so much liquidity in the system so that will also help in bringing down inflation and also help also in curtailing them um, job losses so right. it's, it's 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 a multi-policy decision but like i always say these decisions will not act well once the physical side are not doing what they are supposed to do, which is to make sure they put policies in place that will have a major impact through this uh, uh, um, monetary policy uh, decision that are taken. All right. Um, the CBN Governor Gordon Mefele announced uh, yesterday that this was a unanimous decision to retain uh, this lending rate. But how might it inf affect imports and exports and maybe impact on borrowing? Yes, yes, it will encourage borrowing, especially when the lending rate is still 11.5, like what we have um, 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 towards the end of last year. And um, due to the fact that uh, if, it's, if, if the CBN have said the money from the, from, the, from, the, from the bank to the private sector is about 25 trillion, that shows that the banks are able to do a lot of borrowing to the economy, especially in a recessed economy like what we are going through now. So it, 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 still, it still remains the same. And so what it means is that same of same everything will remain if we are governing with inflation the port, like i said inflation has um will still be there um and maybe we'll see it still hovering between that 17 point something percent if we are going exchange exchange volatility will still be there then the cost of living will still just be where it is because that means there's no increment in terms of lending rate so but the major challenge as i said the cbn is trying to address is in the area of uh, of the fx rate especially the parallel market 
trying to bring those conversions on those trade because basically the major challenge in Nigeria is that most of our goods and services that we 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 we, we have are also services that we most of them come from 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 out of the country they are imported into the country so once you don't get that exchange rate and volatility right then it tends to impact on the ordinary nigerians in terms of cost of goods cost of services movement in terms of transportation because we don't have the manufacturing company that is manufacturing parts of a caterpillar or, 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 or all the machineries that are needed for, for farming if we say you want to bring down the rate then you have to go with the kind of inf uh, 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 and trans uh, and infrastructure in terms of road network a lot of construction works are ongoing and then not to forget that the second wave of the pandemic also is also affecting some businesses a lot of nigerians uh, have not fully resumed work in both in the federal and the private even both in the, in the private pri um, federal and the private sector so public and the private sector so uh, those are part of the, the, the reason that CBN is looking and saying, look, let's leave rate at that. And that's why CBN even warned yesterday that there shouldn't be total lock, uh, lockdown of the economy because as it stands now, some companies are passionately locking down because of uh, what they have to do. Hmm. So for me, uh, I think um, we we'll continue to see issues like that. Though the, the other way that the CBN is trying to address issues to deal with it administratively by making sure that um, um, remittance from Nigerians in the diaspora are remitted back to Nigeria here in, in, in the, in the right. foreign currency that were sent from there. Yes. That will bring down the thing in terms of bringing down the volatility in the exchange rate because that's where demand and supply. When we have a lot of dollars chasing it, it, um, Naira, then you, you will be able to, to, to bring down the, the right. rate. Uh, Mr. Mokhtar Mohamed, so it's always very interesting speaking with you and having you break down these. Uh, very, very intricate details of the economy uh, for us. Thank you very much for uh, stepping in once again this morning. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Have a great Always. day. Uh, the the only um, other detail here is the uh, uh, woman uh, selling rice at the junction doesn't care about NPC. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, bus conductors also don't care about some of all these yeah, things. You know, but, but, but one way or another, they all affect eventually affect us. Yes, yes, it does. So yes, that's it on uh, economics, business. Well, now we're talking sports soon enough with our sports correspondent, Wally Scott. Do stay with us.